What up campers? This week we got a super fun and super short install video. We're putting on the Max Air Vent covers onto our 2706 WS. Let's get it. So this is what you get in the mail. It comes with your instructions glued to the top and then each one comes with its own little bag of hardware. So we're mostly doing these for shade purposes. We only got the one AC in the living area and not in the bedroom. And so in the mornings, we're getting that sun <laughs> blasting down and waking us up. So hopefully this will give us some shade and just let us keep it a little bit more vented out uh, during the day. This should be a, a pretty quick install. Even I can't screw this one up. Real quick, let's just talk about the tools you're gonna need for this one. A cordless drill, a 3 16 drill bit, small crescent wrench, a pencil for marking your holes, a utility knife, just in case you need to sharpen your pencil while you're up there, a Phillips head screwdriver, a socket wrench, and a set of sockets. We're actually doing two, so we're gonna cover the vent in the master bedroom, or in the bedroom, uh, and then we're also gonna cover the vent that's in the main living area. All right, so first step is haul all this stuff up onto the roof and we'll see you up there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, and we're gonna start on this uh, back vent closest to the bathroom. They want you to center the cover over the vent and mark the holes. So now we're gonna actually position the L brackets and then drill out the holes and get those brackets mounted. And then we'll be on the home stretch. And this is why it has two holes so you can basically decide if you want it up there or at the further forward one. So we'll go with that one. I'm gonna actually raise up the vent, then we'll come back and drill all these holes out and get them actually bolted on. So we'll go ahead and drill these out to 3 16 Okay, so we got the holes drilled out. Now we're just gonna go ahead and attach all the brackets. We're gonna go, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but we'll go screw, then washer, then lock washer, then nut. And we'll leave some play in there for now, just to give us some room to get those carriage bolts in. We got the brackets on. Now we'll go ahead and slip through the carriage bolts. Tighten it on down to the old vent cover. Almost done. Now we're just gonna go ahead and drop the vent cover over and tighten it down to the bracket. And that's a wrap for this one. All right, now last step is we'll just tighten this down with the old 716s, call it a day. And they said you want this little gap like this so that condensation or moisture or whatever can leak out. And that's done. So we'll uh, go grab a drink of water and then we'll do the one up front. Just the finished product on the back, we got some water 
I took off my sweatshirt and put on a t-shirt. Now we're gonna go tackle this guy up there. So that's a wrap for the Max Air vent cover install. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, pretty easy. I think a couple things to keep in mind that I found out along the way is that our vent actually opens farther um, than the, the Max Air vent cover will allow. I think the trade off though, in terms of being able to have the thing always open compared to not, you know, losing that extra inch of, uh, of how high up you could raise it is gonna be worth it. Other than that, the second one, like I said, only took me 10 minutes to install. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Click that notification bell if you do. Apparently that makes a big deal for YouTube if you do click it, so we'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, until then, we'll see you on the next adventure.